if you want to occupy any space, to occupy space begins with obedience. The call to occupy land is obedience. For you to take a step, when God says, that gives the command to Joshua, when he gives the command, the difference between him and the generation before is he took action. Like he obeyed what he was asked to do. If you're like, I want to take courage, I want to obey God's voice, you're going to have to take action. You're going to have to move. You're going to have to take some steps. That's what faith is. It's spelled R-I-S-K. It feels risky. It's risk every time we step to obey. But every time we step out and obey God and just take that initial step of faith, whatever it is, I don't care if you're like, that feels huge or that's tiny. It's a response of the heart to say, I will obey you. You just begin to occupy new space. Every time you do that, you occupy new space. Every time we do that in a city and we obey God and we step out into it, something shifts and happens within this context of where we stand. I know this. I know, I know this is what we can't see. I'm going with Cody and Rochelle one time, teaching them just how to hear God, go pray for people in the city. And we go to Walgreens. Okay? We're just out in the city just loving people, praying for people. Does that seem weird? It seems like what Jesus did a lot of. We're in our city. We're just loving people, talking to them, praying for them. They pray for this lady, and I'm standing there. I'm not praying for them. They're praying for this lady, and I'm standing out in front of Walgreens, and it's like I feel like it was cloudy, and now all of a sudden it's just sunny and open right there in that space. And I felt the Lord was just saying at that time, this son, this is what happens. Every time there's a public display, anytime there's a, an act of obedience like this, the heaven just opens up. Can you imagine what happens if 200 of us or however many is in here if 200 of us took an act of obedience tomorrow somewhere outside of these walls what happens over a city I remind you you're part of city church and even when God showed us that it's the reason why the seas it's not just a cool logo that the seas are facing out it was to remind us we will not keep this we will not keep this like it is meant to go out even it's written into our code, like it's in who we are. That's who you are. 